Good morning. Frog in my throat. Uh, I am at Joyce. I am finishing up. Got, you know, who doesn't have grocery carts in their house, huh? And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd give you a tour of what I have left. And then I thought I would talk about, I've had a lot of, and I'm assuming women, uh, Ask me about my skincare routine, uh, and it's pretty simple. But I have started using Retin A again, and I actually started my micro needling. So the at home micro needling that I do, and I want you to just to remember because you can order this off the internet. I don't know if you can get it on Amazon. I'll look it up and I'm going to put it below. I want to talk about this more, but uh, I'm an advanced practitioner esthetician. So just know that like, I kind of know my stuff. So when I'm doing it, I want to say I trust myself, but uh, yeah, so just do your research. You know, I don't have time in this video to go in depth, but I'm just letting you know what I do. Cause somebody, well, a couple of people asked me, um, what do I do for skincare? And I have to remind you too, Joy is my mom and I'm sure I got Quite a few of her genes or some of them and uh, and you know she's 95 has never had anything done has never you know I, I'm assuming that because she had six kids and you know my dad worked two three jobs so she could stay home and take care of us that she never really saw the sun <laughs> she never smoked and she hardly drank so there you go those are factors too uh yeah okay well I'm gonna show you what's left here because I got to hand the keys in tomorrow by noon and skedaddle out of here. Uh, but I'll just show you where I'm at because it just seems like a never ending. See, and last night I felt like Cinderella. I was scrubbing the floors and, you know, um, I cleaned all inside the cabinets and the oven and the refrigerator, you know, just so much that you don't think about when you're like, oh yeah, cleaning the apartment will be easy. And I vacuumed like six times. Uh, the cat hair is mostly coming up. Oh, see that nice pile? Well, I'll show you where I'm at. So I'll turn the camera on and show you where I'm at now. We'll start here. So last night, Jesse came and picked up, there was a little, what is it? Like seating thing out there. It was super cute. Yeah. Joy had a really nice view. See, they had a gazebo down there that they built, I think just last year. Yeah, so that, and there was a table here. Now there's two shopping carts. Those have saved me. They keep them downstairs in the basement and cause I have been able to take so much more um, in moving. Okay, so here's the kitchen. <laughs> there's the vacuum. Bought a new vacuum specifically for hair, pet hair. And that thing fills up in like two seconds. Like I said, it's getting better now. I'll probably vacuum again two or three more times before tomorrow just to make sure. So, um, yeah, the kitchen. I brought all my food because I've been here this week. Um, you know, clean the stove. Had to take those ringlet things out. And the fridge, clean the fridge out. Although I took these drawers out and I don't know, that little clip came off and I can't put them back in, but I'll just tell Katie. These are so good. I got these at Aldi's. They're only 190 calories and they're these little like wrap burgers. That's two of them. They're only like half a size like that and they're perfect and they taste so good. You put them in the microwave for a minute. So there you go. Uh, yeah, the living room. I got to get all that stuff out of here. That has to go to storage, storage, storage. I've got a rice cooker, uh, the van. And then thank goodness for this. I never knew about these. If you don't know, it's a blow up mattress. My daughter, I borrowed it from her and you plug it in. And I thought I'd be like <laughs> blowing or pumping, you know, with my foot to blow it up. It blows up by itself. You turn on a dial and it just blows up. And then when you're ready to be done with it, which I'll uninflate it, deflate it. 
uh, tomato, tomato. You just turn a button and then all the air comes out. So that has saved me. The first night I slept on the floor. I had a couple towels and I had some of my clothes over there because I didn't have a pillow. And uh, yeah, if you think the van is rough, you can't sleep on the floor. So um, here is, oh, I had to wash these. So in the van, I left the vent open the other night and we had a lot of rain. And when I walked in yesterday, the van smelled so musty. It's because all the rain pooled on one of those. More clothes, my gosh, I live in a van. Why do I have so many clothes? Most of those are like winter clothes that I had here. Um, so here's the bedroom. The carpet looks pretty good now. Uh, nice thing, Joy really didn't, you know, she never spilt anything or so. And the closet, clean all that, another closet. And then the bathroom, as you can see, just brought my backpack with all my stuff. Oh, I will show you what, so right now, I'm using this hyaluronic acid serum, random. Um, and I got this at Marshall's. I do, listen, I don't have, you know, I'm, I'm frugal. And uh, this was on sale at um, Walgreens. And it says Brighter Days Ahead Serum. And so it's a little thicker, so I just use it at night. I just got it a couple days ago. I've used it like twice. And here's my Retin-A cream. And uh, Betsy, our makeup person, gave me this. She had it as like a trial or something. And it was full, it was a full one. And I actually have really been enjoying this, but it's expensive. I don't know, I think I'm gonna look at Marshall's and see if I can find another eye cream. Um, we're gonna go to Marshall's today and I'll show you, we'll shop for some skincare stuff. Uh, but yeah, I really like this. If you can afford it, go ahead and buy it. I got these little trial size. I always, 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 always wear SPF, if you don't know, I had basal cell on my face. I had to get cut out. We have like three of them. Betsy gave me some, and then I was at the dermatologist, and they gave me, or they had some free ones, so I grabbed a couple more. So, yeah, and then, so I still have, I was cleaning out the shower. I've been taking a shower without a shower curtain. So when I went to the dermatologist, I go every year for a skin cancer checkup. I had basal cell right here and I actually uh, ended up having a plastic surgeon do it. Now dermatologists and plastic surgeons work together, which they should have a long time ago, but a lot of times, so they do the most procedure. If you don't know what that is, if you have skin cancer, you'll go in and they take some skin, they take a chunk of your skin out and then there's a bunch of people in the waiting room and they go test it. So you have to wait. It's like an all day thing sometimes. Um, I didn't have that done, but uh, that sounded awful to me. Cause then if they still show cancer along the margins, then they go in and take like a little more and then they go test that and come back and they keep doing that during the day until um, you don't show any more signs of cancer. So I went to a plastic surgeon and he literally cut from like here to here and you know, I was crying. I'm like, oh my gosh. And he's like, Tracy, I put the stitches inside in like six weeks, you won't even know I did it. And he was right. I don't even see the scar unless I'm like really looking for it. So now they work together and the dermatologist or the plastic surgeon told me this was back and I was like 36, I'm gonna be 59, so quite a while ago. But at that time, he was like, Tracy, at least once a week, someone comes in uh, with a hole in their nose or just a hole because the dermatologist, their goal was just to get the cancer gone. Their goal was not for aesthetic reasons. A lot of times they didn't even put a stitch in. And if they did, I mean, it wasn't like they were, not like they didn't care, but you know, they didn't know how to do it discreetly where you didn't have a scar. Hence why I went to a plastic surgeon. If it was on my back or something, I wouldn't care, but on my face, yeah. And I was modeling at the time and 
uh, doing makeup and stuff. So anyway, so I'm going to tell you too, sorry, I'm going to set you somewhere over here. The lighting is not that good, but where can I set you? Let's see. You want to go in the cart? <laughs> nope, not going to work. Okay. Oh, uh, let's go over here. All right. Oh, the joys of trying to make a video and I don't have my tripod. So anyway, um, there we go. Good enough. Um, when I went to the dermatologist, I'm like, cause she's talking about my back cause I can't see my back. So one of the important things is cause I can't see my back to have it looked at professionally. And there is time before too, I had something on my hip, like just tiny. I never would have even seen it. And you know, they look at it with like a big magnifying glass and now they have certain things that'll like show that it may be skin cancer. Anyway, uh, tiny, tiny, tiny. And she's like, oh, that looks suspicious. I'm gonna take a you know biopsy of it. It turned out to be nothing, but uh, I wanna have my mammogram on Monday, squirrel. And thank God everything turned out good. The last two times before this, they called me back in and I had to get an ultrasound. And I think I told you they had to, um, they were worried they saw something which was very distressing for me. And uh, they had to put a needle in and they put a marker in. It was just scar tissue, but um, they, uh, yeah, so I was a little worried going this time because I didn't want to be called back. And I wasn't when she said, okay, well, the results, you know, because the person giving it can tell that's the one that kind of raised the red flags last time. And I had a 3D mammogram because I have dense breasts. And so it's harder to see, you know, things. Uh, if you have dense breasts and uh, just so you know so I made sure through my insurance that they covered that and they did I'm not sure why an insurance company wouldn't especially if you're more prone to not it not being found just doing a regular mammogram anyway uh, so back to my dermatologist oh all my doctor's stories gosh and my sciatic has been acting up I said never did I think I would get to that age that I'd be like oh my sciatica um, but I went to the dermatologist and so she's like oh yeah everything's sore there's like you know um, they're they're like what are they they're like molds but they're not molds and uh, so keratosis something like that. Uh, and you know, tell me all the things on my back. And then she goes, and then there's just a couple of those, you know, you get those little red cherry things. Thank goodness I don't have them anywhere I can see them because I would have to get rid of them because that would seem a bit more like bum me out. Anyway, um, uh, and then, you know, you started getting like bumps here. And I'm like, are they skin tags? What are they? And she just goes, I asked her, I go, how do I get rid of these? And she goes, yeah, it's just age. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I know, I get it. And so I said, what would get rid of them? And because you can't, well, I tried actually to put like skin kicked stuff all over, but I know that wasn't good for me. Uh, but they were driving me nuts. And she said, um, Retin-A. And I'm like, yeah, I'm an esthetician. I'm like, why didn't I think of that? And so um, she prescribed it for me. It's 0.25. And listen, I'm someone, I know more isn't more. And a lot of times you want to just jump right into like the highest, you know, there's 0.5, there's 0.1. Uh, but you have to gradually, because I haven't been on Retin-A in a while. And what it does is it turns over the cells. Because when we get old age, our skin cells don't turn over as fast. And that's why our skin looks like crepey and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, so I got the Retin-A and I started using that and I use it on my face probably every three nights, you know, I'll do it once and then I'll wait a couple days and do it again. Cause you have to kind of gradually do it. Otherwise, um, you're going to look like a, a lizard or a snake because your skin will really peel. If you do it gradually, it'll go gradually with you. And if you use a lot of it right away too much, 
your skin is going to get all red and then also you're going to be more sensitive to the sun so you have to make sure even that i already do wear spf every day you have to make sure that you wear spf and i don't even i don't only put it on my face whatever you do you want to take it all the way down to your decollete because here's the thing you don't want just your face to look good and then down here not to look good so you want to take it all down and then anything i have left i put it on my hands uh because you know our hands age too um, I'm going to show you quick the uh, microneedling that I use. So let's go in the bathroom. That's where it is. So I carried, this is like the third time I have wanted to get back to doing this forever when I was in the van. But at night I'd always be too tired. <laughs> Just like forget it. But I brought this with me. So this is the third time. So I do it like once every four weeks. Again, something else you don't want to do too much because it breaks up the collagen in your skin, which helps like restore it and plump up your skin again. And so this is what it looks like. And that's a plug-in. And I actually still have this, which is weird. Um, it's called Dr. Pen Ultima A6. I don't even know if it's on uh, you know, online anymore, but I'll Google it, Google it, Google it, and I'll put the link down below or something comparable. Um, again, really watch, do your research, watch video tutorials. Um, you know, and it's, it's not something to fool with because you can hurt your skin more than you can help it if you're doing it wrong. And then these are the needles. So there's different sizes like this is 36 you want to start small there's like a nano in here uh, 36 36 anyway there's different size in there and so um again you want to really read the instructions really do the tutorial be very careful because it's your skin and it's your face and you're trying to help it not hurt it oh and i've been using this i randomly bought it sometime um, and I really like it. Truly matte LA colors. I don't even remember where I got it. I didn't get it at Walgreens. We don't carry this kind. Maybe Walmart. I don't know, but I like it. Okay. Okay. Well, I am going to start putting stuff up in the grocery carts and I have to go to the storage, to the van, uh, and then I have to clean a little more in here. So it's going to be a busy day. Also, I am going through... I started this yesterday too, and I went to see Joy yesterday, but this much paperwork. Uh, I'm going through that for um, the litigation that my mom is in. And uh, yeah, so I got to work on that today too. <laughs> yeah, easy day. Um, and then what's today? Today's Thursday. Got to hand the can keys in by 12 tomorrow. For the apartment and be done here and then I can't move into my place till Sunday the first so I'll be back in the van until then and uh, yeah so it's gonna be a crazy weekend and then hopefully I'll get settled in that place and yeah ready to to move on with life next chapter just ticking things off okay I'm gonna start doing this and then I'll catch you soon where I'm at and I'll check in. Okay. okay, before I leave here, I thought I would show you, I was in the bathroom here, but I thought I, I can't even talk. Thought I would show you the makeup that I'm using now. Again, mostly for the ladies, I don't know the men, you can wear it too. Okay, I'm gonna show you. This is what's in my makeup bag. Okay, I already showed you this, this LA Colors. All right, and I don't wear that much makeup. I don't wear this, I got it. It was to like kind of contour. Um, I do like the product. I had a darker one before and I went to buy this, but it's not as dark. Anyway, I haven't used it. Um, and this is just what I use because it's like $4 because makeup is so expensive. It's just e.l.f. and I put my own. They have like a sponge that comes with it. It's just a translucent powder. Um, I use this every single day. There was only one left at Walgreens. I had Betsy take it down for me because I'm buying it Friday, we get 40% off for employee discount day. 
Um, I had gone to Walmart, they didn't have any left. I don't know if they carry it anymore, but it's the Wet n Wild, it's Boost Me Up. And what I do is I put it in my eyebrows. I was of the Pamela Anderson over plucking days. And it just kinda, it's like a conditioner, you know, like you put in your hair, but it's, I just use it every day. Um, this I really like, but I haven't, uh, I use it randomly uh, for under eye. A lot of times I don't even put anything under my eye because I don't have really bags under my eyes. So, uh, but anyway, I really like this. The IRL filter finish, really like this. And then uh, actually Betsy had given me one of these, a full one, and I went and bought another one because I was out. Uh, the old standard, I always use this even in my makeup kit, my professional makeup kit, uh, Maybelline Great Lash, the standard. This I really like too, and I only f use it when I feel like I wanna get fancy. So I'll show you, it's, does it say on here what it is? Can you read that? Oh, Revolution. And so one side is bronzer, and I really like it's really creamy, and it'll like really glide on, so you can contour. And the other side is um, concealer. So you get two in one thing. Again, really like it. Don't use it much, but when I do, like when I'm feeling fancy, uh, again, Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild is like the cheapest makeup. You think all my makeup in my makeup kit, my professional one, is all high-end. You know, all the fancy, fancy names cost me like 80 bucks for just one foundation. Uh, but for myself, I, whatever works. So Wet n Wild blush, <laughs> that's what I use. And um, this. So I put this on my eyebrows, Express Brow from Maybelline. And this is in blonde. Look at I obviously something broke in there. And so I have to clean that out. But uh, blonde has been hard to find and that's what I use. Blonde is darker than you think it would be, but this is a perfect color for me. So I put this on my eyebrows. I actually had another one I was using. I use this, it's almost gone, so I went to the other one because I couldn't find this when I was shopping. This is good too, NYX Professional Makeup. Uh, again, very inexpensive makeup. Uh, this randomly, I, I had it, I have, it's a little much, but I usually only use just one color on my lid. I just swipe it on and I'm done. I don't use multiple colors anymore, again, unless I'd be going somewhere, which I don't. So. I just use a color, uh, this is just for my blush, just a makeup brush. And I use this to line my eyes, just cover girl, perfect point plus. And yeah, and then my eyeshadow. And then if I'm really getting fancy, I curl my eyelashes. But again, we live in a van, doesn't happen a lot. So that's it. And so that's all I use. It takes me less than five minutes to get ready in the morning and I'm out the door. I am sweating. I'm at my storage. So I gotta put all that I'll show you. into there. My next, uh, my next time my to-do list after I get settled is to clean all this out because I can get rid of all that stuff. Um, and Chuck and Charlie, <laughs> hey guys. Sorry I left you in here. Oh my gosh, but at least you have each other, right? Yeah. Okay, onward. All right, next stop, we're at Marshall's. So before I go in, I remember I had this. I'm very serious about my SPF. And I use this, it's Hawaiian Tropic Mineral. This is 30. I know I got this like off the internet. But so if you don't like liquid form, you can use this powder. And I will use this, I'm sweating from moving stuff at the storage place. And so then you can just Pop some of that on, and again, don't forget your neck and your decollete. And yeah, this is just translucent. You can get it in different colors, different types of mineral. 
SPF like that. But yeah, I really like the powder. Just for on the go, I keep that in my purse. And uh, I pulled this out because this is what I use. Again, Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild's like the cheapest kind of brand. This is called Skinny Dipping, but it's Skin-NY Dipping. I'm acting like I can read it. I can't without my glasses, <laughs> but I don't know if the camera is picking that up. But it just gives me just a little color. And so um, I've researched why skincare, because when we go in there, and I also want to get foot stuff. I like to wear those booties that like moisturize your feet. And I bought these kind last time and I've done it before. It was called like baby soft or something. And you put them on and then your skin literally peels off a week later. Like, and you're peeling it for two weeks, but, um, it's all like overstocked or maybe the box has been damaged or something, but it's really cheap, but it's the same thing that you're going to get at the high-end store that you're paying a lot for. And a lot of people think it's outdated or expired, but it's not because they can't legally do that. So they're sold, the companies sell these, again, it may be overstock, it may be damaged boxes, something like that, uh, but that's why it's so cheap. But we're gonna go in there. Oh, and I was looking up Aura Rings. So if you don't know, I bought this for $35 on Amazon. I love this. It's a smartwatch. Okay, now it won't turn on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, and then it, <laughs> you get it. Um, but yeah, $35 and I really love it. And then this, the Aura Ring, I even went to Best Buy because I really wanna track my sleep because I know I don't get enough sleep. And you know, my cortisol I know has been through the roof, um, especially since starting van life. And just everything I've gone through. But uh, I really wanted to track my sleep and the aura ring though is like $500 plus you have to pay a monthly fee for it so on tiktok shop i saw this and i'm like well 35 bucks you know we'll see and it works perfectly it goes through an app i can see how many hours i slept it tells me like if it was quality it tells me if i was in deep sleep or light sleep um so yeah, if I remember, I'll put the link to this below. I, I bought it on the TikTok shop, so I don't know. Uh, I, oh, and I was gonna tell you this, squirrel. So Cosmetic RX reached out to me again. I had worked with them before and there was no pressure. I just posted it on, um, on like my Facebook. Uh, I, they have like medical grade stuff okay and i am always willing to share when there's a discount on anything medical grade this is not sponsored like they aren't i did a video for them for tiktok listen i have over thirteen thousand followers there but i don't ever use tiktok i kind of want to start but right now everything is just you know a little too much but so i made a video for them and it got stricken is that what uh yeah, I barely post on there because I think it was because I talked about they sell GLP ones, you know, the weight loss drugs. And I don't think TikTok will let you say those things. So it never went up. But so they have board certified medical doctors, but they also have retin on here, normally $59, but it's $39. Um, I have a code. Again, I'm not sponsored, I'm not doing a YouTube video for them. I'm just telling you because I'm talking about makeup and I found this in my car and I remembered. Um, you can use the code Adventures Over 50. Again, I'll try and remember to link all this stuff below. If I don't, remind me if you're interested and I'll send the link to whatever it is to you. Um, but I'll put all the different um, amounts you get off. Uh, the semi-glutide, I think it's $199. Use my code. They have trisepatide. So what you do is you go there and from what I understand, you fill out you know, uh, the questionnaire. And then doctors look it over, they get back to you, and then a nurse reaches out to you, and then you go get blood drawn, um, and that's free. And then you know once everything they know is okay, that you're all checked out, 
um, then they send it to you. So I don't know if you're interested. Again, I'll put all the stuff below for this, but I just thought, because again, I haven't been on Retin-A in a while and I only got on it because I went to my dermatologist and we talked about <laughs> these age things. Um, and then I remember why, how much it helped my skin. Again, I get lazy about my skin. I always use a serum. And if you use serums and, you know, how do you put it all on? Put your serums on first. This is how you're going to layer it. Put your serums on first because it's going to get into your pores deeper. Uh, and then you're going to want to put, like, if you have Retin-A or something. When I put my Retin-A on, I always put it on, like, standalone. I don't put anything else on. But I will put, like, an SPF over it. Um, uh, just weird, just how I do it. You can do it however you want. Serums, then like Retin-A, and then on top of that, uh, and give it a couple minutes for it to like, soak in, and then um, SPF on top, or moisturizer, whatever, because that is a thicker kind of barrier, and then it kind of keeps that all in. Okay, enough for a skin lesson today. I'll put all this down below. All right, let's go shopping. So if you don't know, Korean beauty is really big now. And I was looking at these, this is all like the eye stuff. And so I am going to try this. So it's a morning and night eye cream, two different ones. And then it's $10, which I would assume this would be a lot, lot more expensive. Um, they have all this. And I think I'm going to get so niacinamide. It's kind of a new buzzword for, um, it's a new ingredient that's, you know, a lot of things have in it. And so I think I'm going to try this too. It's only $5.99. Um, again, they have all this stuff. And I'm going to show you, I'll show you what else I get. But I got to look through all this. <laughs> look at all that. And then I need to find the foot stuff. I'm whispering because there's people here. Okay, I'll let you know out of all this what I'm gonna pick. Okay. Also, they have all these name brands here, like L'Oreal, Oil Volet, I saw Mac, and La Roche. And they are gonna be a lot less. Let's see. So. This is good to use too. It already has SPF in it. It's a moisturizer. $7.99. I think at Walgreens, it's like $15. And so I decided to get this. Glycolic acid. Uh, Renewing facial serum. Anyway. Uh, that. And I'm going to get this. Vitamin C, it's like brightening, and hyaluronic acid, which helps keep moisture in your skin. So, yeah, those are the two I'm going with. And this one is $4.99, and this one is $4.99. They also have a lot of makeup here. This is a uh, lip stuff. So, they have sun balm, Burt's Bees, all the lip stuff and the makeup, all the utensils, and look at this, I wonder what that's for, it's a brush set, this is what I was talking about, and look it's made in Korea, somebody came up behind me, but, and then uh, these are mint and tree, mint and tea tree advanced moisturizing, so I'm going to peel, and moisturize. Okay, that's all I need. I gotta go before I spend more money. All right. I laughed out loud when I saw this. Oh my gosh. Let's do a little mini haul just to recap what I got. Uh, the girl that checked me out, although she was like 16, she looked like and had great skin. She said that she got this and she really likes it, likes it. So um, yeah brightening multi balm I've never tried a balm before with niacinamide and vitamin okay and then the glycolic acid and Province Beauty okay 
and then the vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. I really like vitamin C. I really love uh, hyaluronic acid too. And then um, these are for the eye serums. One's for the day, one's for the night. And then the foot mask. This thing, you can't get it. It's crazy. You wear it one night and your feet are normal the next day and stuff. And then about the third or fourth day, they just start peeling off in sheaths. Like just like brand new baby skin. And then I got these for after that. Um, and then I'll just tell you a little story. I don't know if I've told this before and I know I have new followers. So, uh, when I was in high school, let's see, I'll be 59 this October. Wow. Almost next month, October 26th. Joy will be 95, November 5th. Uh, when I was in high school, I had cystic acne and Joy had it too, I guess, when she was younger. So it runs in the family and, uh, I was on Accutane twice. So I played a lot of sports, like volleyball was my thing, and softball, and I remember one time in volleyball, we won some big match to go to like the championship or something, and somebody had cake, and they were upstairs and they were like smashing it in each other's faces, you know, high schoolers. And I was so petrified because I did not want somebody to smash that in my face, first of all, because my makeup, because I would try to hide them, but when they're big, like cysts, you can't really hide them. And I remember running downstairs into the locker room and just sitting there by myself and crying because I couldn't participate in the joy of that because I was so fearful. And then I remember one time we had these uh, fluorescent lights outside our gym. Went to a small Catholic school, my whole grade school and high school. And I was dating this guy and I was so in love with him. And I'll never forget, I can't even forget the feeling. And this is what, 40 years later or something like that. Uh, and he said, you know, and I had the big ones and uh, he was like, why do you wear so much makeup? It just makes them look worse. And he, it broke my heart. It broke my heart. Because, <laughs> you know, acne is not something that you can control. It's nothing you did. It's hereditary. It's environmentally. It's hormonally. It's different things like that. And that just broke my confidence and my heart. And there were times, and it wasn't that they were just like ugly and embarrassing. They hurt. It wasn't like you could ever forget they weren't there because they hurt so much. And I would even go sometimes and have the dermatologist, they could shoot an injection, a steroid injection. And literally the next day it would be flat and dried up. Uh, but then after a while, those quit working. Mm, that was a really hard time. And I went through Accutane. Um, and that was an experience in itself. Your lips are so dry. It's a, I think it's a pure derivative of vitamin A, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in a pill form. And, but the process, and it was like a six month long process. Your lips are just chapped. No matter how much you put on them, they're still chapped. But I was so happy because it worked. And, you know, I feel could feel confident again because there were days that I wouldn't go to school I would be so depressed and of course all my other girlfriends had beautiful skin you know no pimples um, and I would be so depressed I would just cry and tell my mom that uh, tell Joy that I wasn't going to school mm. the young Tracy and then uh, and then when I was 21 they started coming back and I was petrified, petrified. So I went back, thank God I loved my dermatologist, Dr. Anderson. Hello, Tracy. That's how he talked, really monotone. And he put me on it again. And although I did not want to go through that again, I would go through that again to be on the other side. And that worked then, the second round. Um, and there's some 
people that have such bad acne that I see people on TikTok that that doesn't even work for them. Uh, but I'm so glad it worked for me because my confidence was, you know, I was so insecure. Mm. And then, um, yeah, so now when people say you have beautiful skin, I'm like, excuse me, who? Because for such a young age like that, I was so mortified by my skin. So I, you know, and then I had basal cell on my face when I was 36. Uh, so since then, I have taken my skincare very seriously. We didn't know as much then as we know now. So, and even men, please take care of your skin. It's for everybody. Please wear SPF. It's no fun getting your face cut and a hole put in it. No, not fun. Um, okay, where are we going next? Oh, I gotta go back to the apartment, pick up more stuff, bring that to the van, and then we'll see where we're at with that. Okay. Well, this is a familiar spot back at Charlene in the Walgreens parking lot. I have a bunch of stuff to drop off in Charlene. Um, and then I am going to Caribou. I haven't eaten anything yet. It's like uh, 11 o'clock, 1045. Already got all that done. And I have to work on that paperwork, which is going to take me hours. Um, but yeah, so I'm here to drop that off. So I'm going to wrap things up here. I forgot to tell you too, all that stuff cost me $40.03. Where usually probably one of those serums would have cost more than that even. Um, yeah, and then I just wanted to say too, so hopefully when I get settled, you know, I'll be able to set things up have like a standard place. I'll have Wi-Fi. Um, I really love telling those stories uh, and I want to do more. I've already done research on one and I have it, you know, all the information listed in my Google Docs or whatever. And then uh, I already have talking about financial elder abuse. I have 11 pages of notes on that. It's just the time and just being in the van and filming like that is not conducive to anything. Um, so once I get settled at the new place, um, I'll be able to have more of a schedule. And I haven't, you know, I'm doing a half marathon in Delaware in December, the first week. And I haven't ran it all, and my app keeps popping up saying, okay, time for your next run, time for your next run. And I did truck on Tuesday. I put in over 25,000 steps that day. Of course, it was at 4 a.m., so I was up at 10 to 3. Uh, and I'm not complaining. Uh, you know, I have to get in work where I can. Speaking of work, uh, I start September 5th. They move me back over to the pharmacy and... I'll be working in the pharmacy, doing shots and whatever they need me for, uh, which is good because it gives me a chance to, so I just paid Joy's first full month of, at the assisted living home, and it's going to be $6,200 a month. And here's the thing, she only has enough for one more month after this. So Tuesday, because Monday is a holiday, Tuesday... I have to reach back out to Anoka County and hopefully I can now start the application for the waiver. So I'm going to take you through that and I may be bringing you guys to the state fair. We'll see how Sunday goes, but I really want to get out there. I don't go there every year. Actually, it's been quite a while and I just, there's so many new things to eat out there and test and taste and whatever. And I just go by myself because I just want to get in and I want to get out. And, uh, but I still want to go for the experience. Um, so we'll see if I make it there, but yeah. And my plan is hopefully that once I get settled, that I would do a normal vlog, like, you know, update like I do here. Uh, and then every other week I would do a video, you know, one regarding like the process I'm going through, all the medical stuff, you know, this. And interviewing people like Jenny, the guy with the book about the trust, stuff like that, social workers, to help understand all this more and to help you navigate it a lot easier or better or more seamly than I 
have. Um, and then I would do a story every other week. So, and then a vlog. So I'd do two a week. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of the plan, but you know, the best made plans, <laughs> you never know. You know how to make God laugh? Tell him your plans. Oh, and I just wanted to say this too. Um, so I was watching TikTok and this guy came up on my feed and it said, uh, quantum physics like says death is an illusion. And this guy had a near death experience and he studies quantum physics, just like my mom, Joy studies quantum phys physics. That's all the books that she reads. And, um, and I thought it was so interesting because, you know, he said in this near death experience, you know, he died. And so I guess it's not near death if you die, but that you're, you know, they can't even explain consciousness. You know how we talk to ourselves in our head? Boy, we could like make up whole stories in our head. We can berate ourselves in our own head. We do so much, nobody knows what's going on up there. Uh, they can't really explain consciousness. Where does it come from? How is it? It's not, Is it? it's inside the brain. And I truly believe that doesn't die with your body. And that's what this is. Death is an illusion and this is how they explained it, or he explained it. That you know, when you're in your body, your consciousness is preoccupied with this body and the surrounding things around you. Um, and then when your body no longer exists, exists your consciousness just expands and to knowing so much more because you're not preoccupied with just this. And to me, it makes so much sense. And then it makes it, he said, you know, we shouldn't be afraid of death. If anything. I think we should be kind of envious because, um, yeah, my brother said, he goes, when he wrote, uh, he wrote, an epitaph is that it at the end or you know before he passed away and he said well I'll know what's on the other side of the curtain before you do <laughs> and you know that's true it's like um, but I believe that we don't our bodies die but our consciousness expands and we know the answers to so much more and we just feel love I think in these human physical beings we're so preoccupied with these physical beings that it's hard for our consciousness to be expansive because we're so preoccupied with this. So when we aren't this anymore, we're this, we're everything. We're the universe. We're magic. We're magic. Okay, I'm gonna let you go here. Uh, go out, make an adventure. Hopefully I'll have more adventures coming up again uh, I have the first year I've been here in winter and so I really want to take advantage of that and maybe go skiing or snowboarding and stuff like that so we'll see go make an adventure no matter how big or how small you don't have to sell everything and move in a van life is the adventure life is the adventure I figured that out go call someone you love and as Joy says tell them that you love them and don't you dare don't do it don't don't you dare forget your magic I will see you in the next one Bye.